So one of my all-time favorite politicians, and why is he on one of my all-time favorites? Because uh, he actually cares about the people. Ah, isn't that weird? You have a politician actually represent the people who voted for him instead of the people who gave him money to trick the people into voting for him. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Dennis Kucinich. He's going to run for governor of Ohio this year. Dennis Kucinich. Dennis Kucinich, one of the all-time good guys, right, Ron? How do you feel about him? Uh, yeah, I'm with you. I, I supported Dennis Kucinich in the OA primary. He was the first politician I ever got excited about in my lifetime uh, and is still one of the very few I've ever gotten excited about. I've, he's been a guest on my other show on the Aggressive Progressives. I do that show I do for the Young Turks. For their, We do it in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want my show getting out on their main channel and might get a little, a little too popular. <laughs> So they keep it just for their members. But we had him on that show. And, um, you know, they, anyway. So here is Dennis Kucinich. It's, now, listen, this is the NPR station, right? Mm-hmm. This is NPR. Yes. Yeah. Uh, talking about him announcing his candidacy, and then we'll talk about it. Former Congressman, Cleveland mayor, and Fox talk show regular Dennis Kucinich is the latest to throw his hat in the ring for Ohio governor. Kucinich came to the Ohio State House, also known as the People's House. First of all, how weird they they, they go and Fox News contributed. Why would you? Yeah, they 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 had. You know, Barack Obama appeared on Bill O'Reilly. Would you say Barack Obama, former president and Fox News guest? You wouldn't say that, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Dianne Feinstein, also uh, a regular on uh, Fox News Sunday. Uh, I mean, why would you? It's just, just. that that's that you would never anyway. Would well, you, I mean, he does contribute on the regular, but yeah. it's because he's a politician. It's because of his political yeah. background. It's not like he, yeah. Just such a weird framing. Like that's I wouldn't never yeah. even think to add that to Dennis Kucinich's bio. I, I thought that too. I was like, I don't know why that was like what they closed with. Really, on, on the description for Dennis Kucinich. So weird. Announce his candidacy. I'm running for governor of Ohio to make state government subject to the power of we the people. Kucinich promised a lot, including a higher minimum wage, reformed education funding, high-speed rail, universal access to... I don't want to be a dick. I mean, I don't mind being a dick, uh, but I think this woman's being a dick. Kucinich promised a lot. And then you hear her the tone, how she says things, high-speed rail, high hey, hey. Who talks like that unless you're trying to say it dismissively? Am I out of my mind or is she, is she being dismissive? No, you're not out of your mind because there's a reason I picked that audio clip. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that's. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And this is, uh, you know, another example of nice, polite Republicans being nice, polite Republicans over at NPR. Yeah. So I'm going to back this up a little so we can hear that again. Promised a lot, including a higher minimum wage, reformed education funding. High- higher minimum wage, reformed education funding. He's promising a lot, like things we need so that this country doesn't go completely down the toilet. We're promising a lot. Higher minimum wage. Increased education spending. Oh, my God, this guy wants to do a lot. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we're being too hard on this, or I don't. I, I think we're being exactly dead on. Actually, promised a lot, including a higher minimum wage, reformed education funding, high-speed rail, universal access to health care, and public broadband services. Now, the way she could have said, he promised a lot of what everyone wants. He promised a lot of what everyone wants, and is easily done with the amount of money we have in our country. He promised things that lots of other countries already have. You could have said it a million ways, mm-hmm. except that stupid way she said it. You could have even been completely ob- objective about it and yeah. just be like, he has a very progressive platform that includes health care and educational yes. opportunities right. and believes that these are the most important issues today. That's very objective, totally just saying what the guy's about a lot, including a higher minimum wage, reformed education funding, high-speed rail, universal access to health care, and public broadband services. When asked how those would be paid for, he's... Immediately, that's what she says. <laughs> when asked how those would be paid for, we all know the answer is we, we maybe we don't buy 10 million more bombs tomorrow. Maybe we cut some of the uh, uh, oil subsidies. Maybe we stop the war spending. 
Maybe we put a tax on Wall Street who's been raping our country for the last 30 years. Maybe we, we direct some of that $80 billion. What do you, okay. When asked how you get, he promised a lot. And this guy thinks we can have things in other countries. This is classic neoliberal reporting from NPR. He thinks we can have what the rest of the world has. Crazy fairy duster. <laughs> that it was a matter of reallocating resources. Joe Ingalls at the Ohio Public Radio Statehouse News Bureau. He said it was a matter of reallocating resources, which is exactly what Bernie Sanders says. Bernie Sanders says, I just want to take the money we're already spending and direct it towards programs that actually help people. Hey, maybe they don't need tanks in Ohio. You ever think about that? Maybe the Ohio police departments don't need tanks. Maybe we sell the tanks. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we stop gassing up the tanks. Um, That is really horrible. Yeah. That was horrible. Do you want to hear it again? Because I kind of do want to hear it again. Former Congressman, not- Cleveland mayor, and Fox talk show regular Dennis Kucinich is the latest to throw his hat in the ring for Ohio governor. Kucinich came to the Ohio State House, also known as the People's House, to announce his candidacy. I'm running for governor of Ohio to make state government subject to the power of we the people. Kucinich promised a lot, including a higher minimum wage, reformed education funding, high-speed rail, universal access to health care, and public broadband services. You know, the stuff that we can't have in America, because who's going to pay for it? Dennis Kucinich is the latest to throw his hat in the ring for governor. He wants a lot of cool stuff and kind of looks like an elf, NPR. (laughs) When asked how those would be paid for, he said it was a matter of reallocating resources. Okay, well, there you go. There's our little piece of NPR shitty reporting for the day. <laughs> Any, you could just turn on NPR almost any time of the day. And unless they're doing a story about this, you know, like, oh, wetlands in Florida, those are, they're great on those. You know, or stories like this. Hey, we have uh, whatever, like those kind of human interest or science stories or whatever. Jazz music. They do yeah, good. They do History good. of waffles. Interesting stuff. Yeah, anything that's not going to really affect your life, they do a great job on <laughs> yeah. But if you want to talk about neoliberalism, which is the cancer of our country, uh, they'll not, they're not going to talk about it because they're neoliberals. That's why. And they get their funding from neoliberals. They get their funding from uh, uh, fossil fuel companies, from ga- oil b- companies, from the military industrial complex, from Walmart, and from Wall Street. My question to NPR is how many, how many commercials can you run for a bank and still call yourself a public radio station? The answer is endless. The answer is the time is 8.05. Ha! I'm Carl Kessel. <laughs> I'm Carl Kessel with NPR News. First, a word from Bank of America. <laughs> from the fine folks over at Wells Fargo. Opening accounts you didn't even know you had. I'm Carl Kessel. Um, okay there you go please make sure you subscribe to our show I say that because you're probably unsubscribed not kidding check takes just a second check make sure you're subscribed and if you're not please subscribe ring that bell so they give you a notice when we drop a video and our next live show is February 16th that's a Friday in Burbank California those shows sold out so make sure you click the link and go get them and if you become a patron we give you extra bonus material every week lots of special stuff thanks for your support